It's funny that like, I mean, because there's no justice to the way tragedy visits us, yeah. I think there's a bit in there, at least in my experience, where there's a part in which I want, I want an understanding of what it cost before I'm even like, that's the, that's the price of admission mm -hmm. for, for just understanding. Mm -hmm. Like, um, when I got sick, I had a, a like a little baby mm. and I would have to kiss him on his soft little fuzzy head before going to chemo every time. Mm. And every time I, I found that the, it was, it was just so surreal to toggle between like, you know, the kingdom of the living and then the kingdom of the sick. Mm. And, but because I had to live there in my little, because there's, you can't create a bubble around your loves. I don't know, there's something about all the medical stuff. You can't really protect everyone from knowing, even if you wish you could take a break yeah. from it. It's all your description of like the intimacy of caregiving and the, like the privilege and the burden of it mm -hmm. was really beautiful to me. I miss it so much. <laughs> I want to do it all. When I think about him, I don't think about him like pre-surgery, pre-disability. Yeah. Like I want him back with his horrible tracheostomy, oh. which allowed him to breathe. Yeah. So I also loved it. I wish I was sleep deprived because I was sleeping on the floor of his room, listening to his breathing and his yeah. machines and stuff. And I wish I was changing his tubes and, you know, dealing with the weird, like there's like permanent infections you can get. Like if you have stoma, yeah. like holes that aren't yeah. natural in your body, there are bacterias and stuff that can come and live there and you kind of can't get rid of them. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you know, Yeah. I want to be doing all that because you learn all that stuff and now I can't do it. Now I'm like, whenever I hear like a car crash, I'm not like, oh, scary. I'm like, ooh, I hope I can help someone. I hope, you know, I was on a plane not too long ago yeah. and they were like, is there a doctor on board? And I went up to the nurse, to the, um, flight attendant was like i'm not a doctor but like if there's blood i don't care look how big i am i can lift your biggest passenger like use me and they were like all right weirdo you <laughs> okay. i mean that was like I in the first it. year after I love death, it. but i'm constantly yeah like if i weren't exactly as busy i am with a career that i'm really lucky to love i would absolutely be like a part-time yeah overqualified paramedic 